Basi here and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go Great League PvP Spotlight, a series where we'll go through one Great League PvP Pokemon in an episode, focusing more or less to the current ongoing Sylph Arena Cup. This time we'll be taking a look at the Sylph Arena Nightmare Cup contender, one of the crown jewels of my Legacy Moveset collection, Mudshot Polywrath. So if you're wondering what legacy moves are, legacy moves are similar to common day exclusive moves in that they were only obtainable during a certain period of time. On February 21st, 2017, 110 moves across 70 Pokemon became legacy with release of Gen 2 and Polyvras moveset was one of those that were altered. This meant that Polyvrath lost its fast move Mudshot and charge move submission and gained fast move rock smash and charge move dynamic punch. Polyvrat's typing is fighting and water so it resists bug, dark, fire, ice, rock, steel and water and is vulnerable to electric, fairy, flying, grass and psychic. What is so great about the ground type fast move mudshot is that it's extremely good at generating energy which you can then use to spam your charge moves. Mudshot has the highest energy per turn in the game, 4.5, and only two other moves, Psycho Cut and Thundershock, share its stats. Now use that with the fairly new Fighting Charge move, Power Up Punch, which costs only 35 energy and gives you a guaranteed boost to your attack stat. With each use, you'll start snowballing with damage. Every time you use Power Punch, your Pokémon's attack stat will go up by one stage, even if your opponent shields the attack and, the st and these stages can stack up to four times. Polyvrath also has access to Hydro Pump, Dynamic Punch and Ice Punch charge moves. Because we already have Fighting Type charge move, we are not going to use Dynamic Punch and even though Hydro Pump gets a stab bonus, it costs 100 energy to use, which means you can use Ice Punch 3 times before you could use Hydro Pump once. So for the second charge move, we are going to use Ice Punch, which gives us some additional coverage for those unfavorable matchups. In Sylph Arena's Nightmare Cup, Polyvrath is ranked 16th according to pvpoke.com. Its key matchups are those two dark types, Spiritomb, Umbreon and Drapion. It will also beat Lucario and works great against Xatu 2. However, Sif 3 will destroy your Polyvrath as will most of the Psychic types with Psychic type fast move. I did use my Legacy Move Polyvrath in my Sylph Arena Nightmare Cup battles and it did extremely well. Most of the trainers I fought against weren't prepared for it and didn't know how to react. I'll be making a separate video of my Nightmare Cup battles with commentary later this week so stay tuned for that. In the Sylph Arena's upcoming Rainbow Cup, Polyvrath is ranked only at 49th because it's charge moves. Even though Polyvrath with this move that covers a whopping 12 types of the game's 18 types, it sadly isn't enough. Ice Punch, while being effective against one of the cup's main type, Grass, is not really good against Grass on Polyvrath because Polyvrath can't handle those razor leaves due to being weak against Grass, and Power Up Punch is only good against some of the cup's 12 type Pokemon. Overall, Polyvrath is ranked 89th, mainly because the meta Pokemon Medicham and Lucario also have access to Power Up Punch and perform better overall. That being said, Legacy Move Polyvrath is one of the most sought out Pokemon in the game and is incredibly fun to use in PvP, especially when you get it snowballing. So if you have any friends that played Pokemon Go within the first six months and they happen to live near water, Chances are their accounts might have this piece of Next gold we have in it, Marston so I'll just Pokemon suggest you try your best to bring them back to the game. Cheers trainers! It's Marston Lad here. I'm the host of Pokemon Go Helsinki's live streams and YouTube videos. 
We at Pokemon Go Helsinki have been organizing the Sylph Arena Cups, aka live Pokemon Battle Tournaments here in Helsinki region in Finland. And since Razzi is storming into the Pokemon Go PvP scene, we decided to do a little collaboration. We at Pogo Helsinki are mighty glad to have Razzi with us to spread the word about the fun that is Pokemon Go PvP. We recently hosted our Sylph Arena Regional Finals in Finland. Check out the link to the video clips of the highlights of the tournament in the description below if you're interested. Okay, enough with the advertisement and jabbering already. Let's see how Razzi actually performs in Pokemon Battles. These following two fights are from Razzi's Nightmare Cup in Vanta, of which you'll get a full summary later in another video on Razzi's channel. Razzi's first fight will be against Haskalintu, who is not just anybody but the winner of another Nightmare Cup here in Finland, in Turku. And this match starts off with Razzi's Shiftry against Haskalintu's Umbreon. This is a preferable matchup for Shiftry, since that Grass-type fast move Razor Leaf is just the best damage dealing move in the entire game and Umbreon's Dark-type fast moves do virtually no damage to Shiftry at all. Here I think personally I would have opted to use the shield, but it's okay to save the shields for later on. Haskalintu just has to react, he was going to take a beating, so he changes into Toxic Rogue, and for that Poison Froggy, Razzi has the perfect counter. You can see how Hypno just totally shreds Toxic Rogue. And here, if you're wondering why it's taking so long to bring in another Pokemon, Haskalintu is waiting out the switch clock, so he switched into Toxicroak from his Umbreon. And then there's this cooldown period for the next switch, so every second that you can wait will count to your benefit. This Hypno Mirror match is good for Razi, since he has his boat shields still available so he can feel quite secure. Now Hauskalintu is able to make that switch because waiting out that cooldown period earlier, but luckily for Razi, his Hypno has a special treat for Umbreon as well. That Focus Blast would have KO'd Umbreon, no doubt. But now at least forced Haskalintus last shield. And now in comes the star of this video, legacy move Polyvrat. One important thing you need to know about these power-up punchers is that you need to be able to invest your shields or at least one shield into them in order for them to be effective. And luckily for Razi he still had that one shield available. And now you can see the power of Mudshot Polyvrat. It just charges up those moves super fast and now it has its attack already twice boosted when Hypno comes in and here comes yet another power up punch to KO that Hypno and win this round for Razzi. GG, well done my boy. Razzi got the lead match up right and was able to hold on to that momentum and played quite solidly throughout the entire match. The next match will be against Ivo Jima, who is also a regular in Finnish live PvP tournaments. Razi is again leading with Shiftry, but this time it faces off with a creature Shiftry doesn't want to see on the opposing side. Xatu's flying type fast moves will just eat through Shiftry, so Razi changes into Hypno, which Ivo Jima perfectly counters, sending in Drapion. And that Drapion's fast move bite just massacres Hypno. Razi manages to force a shield from Ivo Jima, which is basically the best you can get out of this matchup. Razi. Don't do it! You should have just let Hypno go down gracefully. There's no point wasting a shield on that Drapion, because Hypno can't get to that other Shadow Ball. Drapion's Bite is just so powerful, but now it's the perfect opportunity for our star Polyvrat to shine. First of all, that ground-type fast move Mudshot is super effective to that Drapion, and also these power-up punches will do a good amount of damage 
and build up Polyrath's attack in the process. In comes Drapion's charge move and don't waste your last shield here, man! Drapion's usual charge move set of Aguatail and Crunch are just like tiny mosquito stings to that mighty Polybrat, but down goes that Drapion, finally. Next, Iwojima is gonna bring in Xatu, which already has a charge move ready. Imagine if Razi would have had a shield here, but it is what it is. At least Razi had energy gained for that Ice Punch, which Iwojima of course has to shield. It would have KO'd Xatu, and now in comes the last Pokémon, Shiftry, and it's gonna get interesting from this point on. Shiftry is able to knock out Xatu with Leaf Blade, but now it only has little health left, and Iwojima still has one unharmed Pokémon in the bag, but it happens to be Spiritomb, pretty much the anti-counter for Shiftry, and look at this! It's just incredible, I don't know how that Spiritomb didn't get off a charge move, but somehow, miraculously, Razi is able to pull off this Houdini-like magic trick and win this match here against Iwojima. So even with an unpreferable lead matchup and two poorly placed shields, Razi is somehow able to make this happen. And it just goes to show that you should always, always fight to the bitter end. If you liked this video, feel free to drop a like and if you want to see more of this kind of content on this channel, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out Pokemon Go Helsinki's YouTube channel, links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.